Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. Today I'm gonna do a little different video than my usual type of videos because today I'm gonna do a comparison to CapCut Pro and CapCut. And Pro is, as you can already hear, you have to pay for it and you have like exclusive features that you cannot have without CapCut Pro. And I've bought CapCut Pro for like a week to like test it out and see what features you can have and of course to make a video for you guys to show you what's different and yeah let's stop talking and finally start okay let's start with text as you know you can um, simply add your text by just going to text and then add text and then you can write whatever you want and here you see different sections where you can um, edit your text just like font style effects animation and bubble if you go to font you can like the section I already says, select your font. Here are mine that I downloaded. If you want, I can do a tutorial on how to download um, fonts and add them to CapCut. Or if you just go to your language, you can see different fonts that already um, are in CapCut that you can use. And if you go to style, you can adjust many things here, just like text and stroke. These sections are free. You can basically change the color of your text or add a stroke and adjust the thickness but when you go to glow we have two different glow effects here the first one is free which is just like a simple glow you can adjust with intensity and range i use this sometimes in my videos because i think they're really pretty and then we have the pro feature which has like a reflection to it and what I found really cool is um, that when you go to the Y offset and like move it from 50 to minus 50, you can see this cool effect. And how you, if you have Kappa Pro and you want to edit your text like that, going from the top to the bottom, I can show you how. You basically just add a keyframe here as an example, go to Glow, then make the Y offset 50, and then add another keyframe. Go to style again, glow, and then make the Y offset minus 50, and then you have this effect here. Even if you don't have CapCut Pro, you can try this out too, but if you want to save your video, then you have to get CapCut Pro. So that was the glow section. You have way more things you can adjust in this um, Pro feature, just like the intensity, range, X, and Y offset. And when you go to background, shadow, or spacing, you can't really see pro features here because everything here is free. And now if you go to effects, you can see many different fonts and styles of your text that you can add. Here we have some free ones at the top. We also have some pro ones. As an example, this is free which is, has like a silver white um, text and a black stroke. And this is Pro, which has like a stone kind of style with like lava or orange stroke and shadow. If you want, you can again just look at them and try these different styles out because they can be really useful if you want like a different style to your text. And then of course what we have is animations. In animations, we have some free and non-free um, in, out, and loop animations, just like this. This one is pro, and this is free. And if you see, we have as an example here this laser cut, which looks really good. Okay, let's make it slower. And we have this laser cut too in the out section, and it's um, pro again. So every animation you have in the in section is the same just like in out section just that it comes in and the other one comes out or we have this loop thing here so let's just remove or in and out animations quickly in loop we have also many things and what i want to show you is how i did my intro so in my intro you could see that my text was moving and had had like a twist to it and that's because I used this animation called twist in the loop section and then I made it like not too slow, not too fast, just like this. And then each letter is like twisted and 
you know this kind of style you can see here and this looks really good and I will use this a lot for my future videos if I have CatCut Pro by then and what cool features in Pro you have too is this animation or this animation these are really useful if you want to do like an edit I saw a lot of like after effects edit that had like these similar ones or like this surrounding or current fault and as you can see in the bottom we don't have many animations so yeah and also all the bubble effects here are free so we don't have any pro features here and that was it with this text section everything else you can adjust here is free just like graphs or tracking or whatever and now let's continue with the effects so if you go to effects you have the video effects, body effects, and photo effects, and also one feature that I will show later. So let's just start with the video effects. Here we have a lot of sections too, and each one of them has free and non-free effects. Just like an opening closing, we have this like cute blurred love here. You can see like heart shapes as like an opening to a video. And a similar one that is free is this one, just that it's like a halo blur and has like circles and not hearts, like this one. In my opinion, most of the pro effects are way better than the um, free effects because they look really cool and just perfect for editing. In lens, we have smart sharpen that is in pro effect or this smart sharpen that is free. Or in nightclub, we have this aggressive color strobe and this is also really good for edits if you want to do like shakes the same with star we have some sparkly animations that are free and some that you need CapCut Pro just like this is pro and this is not Resortion is probably my fave section here because we have many many cool effects just like this water drop effect that is pro or like this chaos effect and we have a rainbow drop and all these cool effects you can choose from here again in my opinion most of the pro effects are way better than the free ones and if you want you can like i already said try this out even if you don't have capcut pro so i will not be able to review all the other sections but if you want you can do it yourself if you're interested because we have a lot of pro and free effects here that are really cool and really useful for editing and then again we have body effects so if you go to body effects you have again many many sections here so let's start with the clone one and i will show you like three or four sections so in the clone we have at the top um many pro features just like this one which looks really good this one or we have this one that is free and this is probably my fave, this drag clone, which has like a rainbow effect. And for like a comparison, this is a pro effect where the bodies go like in a different direction. One goes like to the left, one goes to the right with just like a tilt. You see, this is the pro effect. And this is a similar one, which just like copies the bodies and puts them in a different place with no tilt or like any effect just like this let's go to the stroke section which is my fave here we have this paper stroke that is a pro effect and it looks really good or we have this thermal imaging this is also pro or like this drawn stroke which looks also really good so for the third sections we have hallucinations here we have many cool effects just like this one which is pro or this one we also have some cool free ones and as a comparison this one is pro and this is not so you can see we have made way more effects and like a shake here and in this one we only have those electric lights and that was also it with the effects section if you want to try them out yourself and just check out every other section you can do it yourself even if you don't have capcom pro now let's go to the stickers. If you go to text and then stickers, you can see many sections here again. 
where you have many pro features but also many free features just like this one as an example we have these to use for tutorials mostly these are free and then here we come to the pro section just like this one or this one and in this section it's like for like social media type um, stickers and here at the top we have some free ones and if you go down we have this like purplish uh, stickers which are really pretty and sadly pro i think this is really useful for like your intro like those aesthetic you know intros here we have some cartoon pixel stickers that are pro and some other drawn stickers that are free we have this 3d sticker which is pro or this heart which is free and many many sections and that was it with the sticker section again if you want to check them out you can do that yourself okay so let's come to the section i wanted to show you so if you go to effects you can see at the right this ai images and i'm gonna show you what this can do so let's just zoom in our picture okay so if you go on here you can see enter prompts and you can um, write whatever prompts you want just like i don't know let's write princess or shiny hair crown and maybe dress princess dress and then when you click on done and then generate your ai image is going to be generated on the picture you um selected so if i'm going to click on generate now you can see the final result this is a really cool feature and i think it's new and if you don't have any ideas of what you like want to write as a prompt you can click on here and then see different kind of ai type effects that people use and as an example if i like this one you can click on use prompt and all the prompts that are used for this effect are now pasted here so now if you click on generate you can see a completely different ai image and you can just try out yourself you can choose whatever prompt you want or whatever style you like let's choose another one as an example um this and now it's generated and you see like a superhero type and I think you can only use this for pictures and yeah this feature is pro so if you have pro you should definitely try this out and another section where we also have pro features is filters and filters is just already says you know filters you can select just like this this one is pro this one is free this is also free and here we have many sections again, just like movies, scenery, retro, mono. Okay, we're done with that section too. And something I wanted to show you is if you go, if you click on your clip or video and then go to retouch, you can select either face or body. Let's just select face. Here you can adjust the different like nose, eyes or different things that um, you can select here from. We have again some free ones just like this smooth one or this plump one which is pro or skin color and all these skin colors here are pro so if I click on this, this one, that or in reshape you can reshape the face shape just like you can add cheekbones so here you see we have different sections like face eyes nose mouth and eyebrows some of them are free and some of them are not and in eyebrow all of them are pro and also if you want to adjust your clip or photo you always go to adjust and all of these things are free except the auto adjust which like adjusts your video or photo automatically like this is without and this is with it just kind of edits the photo the way it's gonna be like good quality and that was already it we tried out every pro effect and section we have 
Okay guys, that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you could see the difference between CapCut and CapCut Pro. If you have any questions, you can write them down below and I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!